Hi humans, Lurchuk is back and funny here, I'm just the person that meant to be trying to create something here on YouTube and failing on it. So today's video is going to be another story of my life and actually this one happened like two weeks ago. I, I wasn't going to make a video about it, but after talking with a person about it and they quite laughed a lot, I thought to maybe I should like share this story on YouTube. And this story is going to be about one of the craziest guy I have ever talked on Grindr. This story is not going to start on Grindr. I was on Instagram and you know when people text you but you don't follow them so their messages just go to a random place and you need to approve the message or the profile? Well, basically there was this guy and he's cute. There, there was a message from him just say hi how are you and i basically just answered oh i'm okay what about you and he didn't answer and he didn't answer but he messaged back saying oh we talked on grinder and i was like i don't remember it but okay but he didn't like talk about anything other than that the, co the whole conversation was basically that and I, I wasn't like interested in him so i didn't like continue the conversation and after two days he texted me again like complaining because i wasn't answering his message and i, I just like answered with a question mark because basically there was no message to like answer to and he started texting me in every app possible. Really? He texted me on Facebook, on Hornet. He texted me on Grindr again. And that's when I thought that I found out what kind of a conversation we had because I didn't remember him. And when I entered the, the chat and I saw the conversation, the whole conversation was like five minutes of a talk. And it was basically high. How are you? I'm okay. What about you? The same thing. And that and his, him sending his album because on Grinder you have a, a secret album with some pictures of your hands. With pictures of your hands. I, I was going to say feet, but people kind of have like feet pictures. It's that too. I, I mean, Sended mine too because it's a polite thing. If you saw someone's hand, you kind of show your hand too. I don't know. And the whole conversation was basically that. And on the next day, there was another message of him saying like, "Oh, can I see more pictures of you?" And I hate when guys ask that because they're like six pictures of me on Grinder plus the the album. I don't know what kind of different angle they want to see because they saw my hands. Um, and I, I just said, oh, I, I don't have more pictures here, but you can follow me on Instagram. And that was my mistake because like I went crazy about it. After him sending messages in every app possible, I went back to Instagram, I blocked him and the others. And I went back to Instagram and I just like sent another question mark. He started saying that we had a conversation on Grinder, and I wasn't like answering his message. And I, I just answered, dude, you didn't like say anything. You just said, hi, how are you? I answered and you started complaining about me not talking to, with you and I, and I answered, uh, oh, I, I was interested, but I don't know, not, my, not the kind of vibe that I want. And for me, the conversation would be over by then. Uh, but then it started getting funnier. He started saying that, oh, that's the problem with society. Two people wanting something. Two people who should be building a relationship, but only one person is trying. That you don't want to fight for something you want. And I, and, I, and I literally just answered, but I don't want it. Please leave me alone. I didn't say that please leave me alone. That was a joke. 
But I just said, but I'm not interested anymore. And he started like talking again, again. I don't know why would you send your Instagram to a person and you don't want to develop things. I don't know what's your game, the game you're playing. Because you send your Instagram so we could talk. It's a social media. And I was like, dude, it was just for you to see the pictures. You didn't even had to follow. Just you wanted to see the pictures? There's more here. But every message from him, it was like a whole pile of words, a long text. And I was, oh my gosh, this is not happening. I mean, we are arguing like, I mean, you are arguing, I was laughing, uh, like we were in a committed, like, seven years relationship and suddenly one person disappeared. And I, I told him, I, I, I give my Instagram to, to the bank manager. I mean, it's just an app, it's just a place where I put my pictures, where they think I'm cute. Sometimes I'm not, but I realized that later. And he started getting angry, but not in angry, like being aggressive, but when you are hurt, like someone hurts your feelings. And he started talking, no, but you should, you should text me. You should wanting to know more about me. I don't understand what you're talking about because you were interested. And I was like, it was a five minutes talk. That's okay. Which was just a five minutes talk. In that moment, I stopped laughing for a bit because I felt bad for him. And I just said, dude, you're cute. There are probably like a thousand of guys texting you right now to talk with you. Talk with them. I, I just don't want to talk. I just don't want to talk. And he started like answering me. That doesn't make sense. And I, my brain just couldn't figure out what didn't make sense. I just didn't want to talk with him. Thanks. Alone. And he started talking about how the whole situation was unfair to him and how the society is destroyed because he wanted to talk with me and I, I, I wasn't I, I didn't want to talk with him and it, that, it, it didn't make sense and that I failed him I was unfair to him and when he, he got to the fail part and he started saying that I, I you failed me you failed me. That's not fair. That's not fair. I just answered, dude, let me tell you something. Um, if you want a guy to answer your message, first, you need to send a message talking about something, asking about something. You just came here, didn't even answer my what about you with the how are you thing. And you, you already start complaining about me not texting you. I mean, if you want something with someone, just make yourself more interesting so they will talk with you. And he started like saying, no, I'm the one wrong. Everyone is right. I'm the one wrong. I, 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 I just wanted something and you didn't want to and that doesn't make sense because I know you want to. And in that moment, I got tired. I got tired. And I sent him a, a, a law that he in Brazil that basically says you're not obligated to do anything if not by the law. And I'm talking about it really fast. But that whole conversation lasted like 20 minutes of him texting, texting, texting. And me answering, dude, I just don't want it. Okay, in the beginning, I was in the cover still in the conversation because it was weirdly, you know, when something weird happened to you and you need to get more information so you can talk with people about it later. I know I'm a bad person, but you are too. But when I got in the middle of the conversation, I was just sad about him because I was like, dude, it's just a person that doesn't want to talk with you. And he couldn't understand that. Be I, I don't know, you know those guys. That, that they are. And they start like working out. And they kind of feel that they are the hottest guy in the planet. So if they say hi to you, you need to lick their feet. 
that went wrong. Um, that you need to like beg to be with them. Uh, he, I don't, he wasn't that cute. He was just muscular. Uh, he couldn't understand the, the concept of someone not wanting to talk with him. I mean, I would talk with him, I would have like something with him, but the fact that instead of like trying to talk, he was just complaining for me not starting conversations. And I got annoyed. I got annoyed. And when I, I, I have like this amount of patience and it goes fast. So that was this story. I, I don't know. I, I wished I could like give all the details, but the texts were so long and he was repeating himself about that being unfair, me not wanting to talk with him. And after that, I blocked him. He still probably thinks that we were in a seven years relationship and I just disappeared. So I thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Probably another story, weird, crazy story about my life. And I don't know, comment below if you have ever like had a weird, crazy conversation in your life that you don't understand how it started. And I mean, I, I, I'm not in a relationship and I'm having the bad parts of a relationship. <laughs> okay, that was this video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Woo! Mm -hmm.